Tēnā kōrua. No mai, haere mai. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having us again. No, we had like this much choice about it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Honest with each other, mm. you know. Yeah. The You know, it's what happens when you're related to my husband. Also, that we are all doing your new show. Well, you get to do the fun travelling cooking part, and I. Oh, don't worry, I'll just be in the you're, office. You're the brains behind the operation, yeah. definitely. Kia ora motina. So, actually, can you be the brains behind this operation today? Sure thing. So today we're doing two dishes. We're going to be doing a mussel dish with an Asian broth, and then we're doing some delicious baked apples. So they're really quick and they're really yum. I love the sound of that. So an Asian broth. What does that mean? So I think with us, especially if we're doing something quick, I find that Asian ingredients just give it lots of punch in a fast amount of time. So ginger and garlic and chilli. You said this is going to be quite fast. So if we are speed cooking, how long would it probably take? 10 to 12 minutes. Oh, wow. And the apples take half an hour to cook, but about five to 10 minutes to get ready. So that's what we do first, do we? Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'll grab the apples and I'll do the first one just so, yeah. So this is a cora. It's supposed to make it easy. Just just like the band. That's hardcore. That's hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> and then, ooh. Wow! Oh, they're up raw already. And so I'll just pop these in the bin and then Karina can get the next ingredients ready. Sure. And what is that? Um, 75 grams of brown sugar, 100 grams of butter, which is softened, half a cup of walnuts, I'm going to chop those up, half a teaspoon of cinnamon and half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Ka ahatea e nga kai And what do we do with all those ingredients? So basically we just mix them all together and then we're going to pop them into the apples and then we bake them and that's it. Hey mama, well, you know, we are proving that it is nice and easy, uh, that even any, any home cook can do it. Pera yone. Just like me. Yeah, oh, see, that looks good already. Yeah, so mm. you can smell all the spices as well, so it all mixes up and then... But um, I think it is a bit easy when the butter's quite soft, so I actually have to work it a bit so more. So to be soft but not melted, basically. Yeah. OK, so first you have to make a perfect quenelle with this mixture. Uh -huh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Get some and then you just basically go like this. And, and you kind of just stuff it in. And it's okay to get quite a bit of the mixture in because it's all going to melt and then when they're cooking you can actually ah. spoon it over. Oh look, this, is, this needs to be eaten. This looks... You're doing an excellent job, oh. I must say. Ask me to stuff something and I can stuff it up. <laughs> <laughs> so they go, that's on 180 degrees and we put them in there for half an hour or basically until they're nice and soft and all the filling is melted. Damn, that's nice and easy. Kūtai mm -hmm. so we're on to mussels. So these ones I've actually already cleaned, but we've got a few more that we're going to clean first. So I'd usually actually do this with some running water, but basically what I do is get a nice and running water, and you just kind of scrape. These ones are actually really dirty. See, and it all just starts to, to come off. Aye. Well, the, the thing is you need to clean them because you cook Obviously, you cook the mussels in the pot with the broth, and when you're dipping the bread in, you don't want all the barnacle and bed on your bread, so that's why you have to probably clean them up. Yeah. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to chop up the garlic, the onion, and the ginger, and then start cooking the mussels, basically. Oops, so I'll just grab our pot out, and I'll pop that to the side. I've oh, actually, okay, so you should show me the tip. Yeah, you. show me the I've tip, show please you the do. Right now. Okay. So, All right. with the ginger, the best, like, easiest way to peel it is, it was either get like a spoon or a teaspoon, and then you just scrape it, mm. and then you save. You know, you don't have to chop chop off all the ginger, and like you get all the little funny, funny roundy bits. And you just basically scrape off the skin. You can start sweating off the onions while I chop the garlic, if you like, Casey. You don't want it to colour though. You just want it to get nice and soft. Right. Lots of onions, because that's where all the flavour is. So these are starting to cook down really nicely and we're going to add in the garlic and the ginger. Now we're going to add the shousing wine. How ha ke What actually is that? It's just a Chinese cooking wine, really low in alcohol. And now we add the fish stock. And then just bring that up to a simmer. And then once it's simmering, you add the mussels. And so what we're going to do is we're just basically going to pop the lid on and let them steam away for a few minutes. So we just need to chop up the spring onions, the coriander and the chilli. Oh, the chilli, de-seed. You know that's important because you know that Scotty can't handle anything kaka. Too. Really? Oh, he's kore take. I thought oh, that was... Oh, he's big for nothing. Oh, We're mate. spice queens. 
cool. I'm just going to check on these muscles now. Yeah. Some of these are starting to open up, so I'm just going to give them a bit of a mix around. the tohu mawa, and that's the sign. Once they start to open up, yes. yes. And if they're not open, get rid of them. So if you just pass me the coconut, we're ready to pop that in. Miraka coconut. Yeah. And we'll let that just heat through. Mix it in with the muscle. When are you going to add this stuff? How the hell are they So what does that do? Does it? Well, it's salty. So basically, we use this instead of salt. We say a tablespoon of this, but depending on like how salty the mussels are and how salty your fish stock is, you want to add and then taste because it is quite salty. A little bit more. A little bit more. Kona te but that's the first thing you do before you put in yep. any of these extra. Yes. Okay. Anna. These are seasoned with Stacey's tears. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> some chilies, and I've put the stalk end in. I like to chop up the stalks of the coriander as well. They've got lots of flavour in them. Yeah. OK, go wear Momo, so don't right. go wasting yeah, those. Exactly. Can you overcook them? Yes. Yeah, so you want to be very careful. Like um, With most seafood, it doesn't take very long to cook, so uh, just a few minutes is fine, or else it kind of shrinks up and goes tough. But uh, if you want to get our serving bowl out, we're ready to plate up. The best thing about these mussels is dipping the bread into the juices. So it's the first thing I must do. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. This is, oh, we don't even need any utensils. Oh, no way. The parawas, the utensil. Yeah. Okay, I have a nice bowl of chilies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're going to pop this in. Yeah. 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 I've just kept a little part of my puku spear for the apples. How are those apples going? Oh, have a look. They are pretty. They look perfect. Mm. Oh. Pretty apples. How do you like them apples? That is so pretty and Instagram worthy. And hippai te tohu. Is that a good sign? Am I supposed to look for wrinkliness? That's how we know. Yeah, so once the skin starts to go wrinkly, you'll know that they'll be cooked through. So mm. Yeah, so it should just kind of stop. Just slightly wrinkling. One time we actually cooked these and they exploded. They didn't look very good, but they taste pretty good. But just make, just keep checking on them before the 30 minutes, I think. Yeah. Me whakamato katika. I should actually find out how good they taste, shouldn't I? Oh, I just flipped mine out of the bowl. Mm -hmm. I need to get some of that nut. Oh, yeah. Katahi te hanumi tanga kotena. That's an amazing mix. There's the walnuts and then it's all nice and sweet, but not too full on. Mm. And it looks like it's really hard to make, mm. like you have to be a master chef, but you can be a master chef pretty much, just need that core. <laughs> <Master> chef. <laughs> yeah. 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 Just half an hour, we've got two amazing dishes, two amazing girls. Aww, thank you. Aww. Aww. Thanks for having us again. That's alright, I'll tell you when you have next if to come as well, okay? Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>